Gordon. No. B hates me right now. I would drag out of bed to go for a sunrise swim. Although I don't really know how I feel about the swim part right now. I don't know, I have a bit of my right now. <laughs> we, um, I got him up. Well, I woke him up and he said, oh, can we do it tomorrow? And I said, yeah, okay, we'll do it tomorrow. And then I realised how awake I was. And I went, no, actually, we can't do it tomorrow. Get up. <laughs> Lucky for her, she was awake, I wasn't. It'd be worth it. So we decided to come down to the Vico Baths, which is like in between Dockey and Kalini. The sun has already risen, but what's new with us? Um, but yeah, let's go have a look. Cold. Bear in mind, I got like three hours sleep. Did you sleep too cold? Yeah, bollocks hard as well. <laughs> I'll probably drown. Yeah, fair. Watch that. I think it's cold. I reckon it's cold. <laughs> Well, it's too late now. Oh. <laughs> I regret this. Go to go to. Oh. Oh. oh no! Yeah. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Right. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Things. I can't feel my body. It's worth it though, I think. <laughs> it's easy to say it's worth it when you get out, but it's not really worth it because you're still in pain and in bits here. <laughs> you're literally in the fetal position, like, standing up. <laughs> oh, I need to stand on the other tail. <laughs> the ceremony's over. She has made her transition. To what? A sheep? Uh, <laughs> Fico Bath is like really popular for sunrise swims um, with locals and stuff. Uh, there's loads of people down there this morning, wasn't there? Fucking loads. But uh, yeah, it was worth it, I think. I didn't get in. I can't feel my toes. And it, yeah, like tables turned because usually it's me who doesn't want to be called and Lee does these things. But yeah, by the way, my sheep. Bah. Um, Lee, was it a bad idea? It was what? a bad idea, <laughs> fuck's sake. So, just above the Vigo Baths, there's a there's a sign that says Era Seven, and it's um, it was from, an old from World War Two. From World War Two, they said they say it's an, it was an old um, like indicator to like let foreign troops know that they were over Irish land. Am I right in saying that, Luke? Yeah. So we were neutral. 
So I was basically in the cars and do not land here, do not bomb here, do not do anything here because we're not helping you. Yeah. Basically. But the sign, they, they renovated the signs around Ireland recently. <laughs> and that one is still there, it's really cool. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. We will be back in a more consistent schedule from next week now that Ireland has finally opened back up. In the meantime, make sure you press like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to make sure you get notified for all our new videos. Keep it here, just keep it here,